So today I'm going to use these furring strips and this leftover tubing should be just enough. I got like, according to the numbers, there's like 250 feet or so there somewhere. The general idea will be to take this tubing, start it, I'm going to poke a hole from the inside up through the top plate, stick the pipe down in and I'm going to run it back and forth from the top down, trying to keep it so that there's no big areas where the water will collect and hopefully, ideally, that it can gravity drain, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up. And I don't know how I'm going to fasten down. I guess I just, well, I have some duct tape. I'm just going to kind of duct tape the tubing kind of down, and the metal is what will really hold the tubing down. Okay, I'm gonna snap a line on this one by four, and then I'll nail on the eave flashing, and I'll pull up a panel, and I'll just lay it on here and see where the holes are and how it's gonna work. And then I'll pull the tubing up here. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'll just kinda bend it and lay it I've got enough to do basically 10 back and forth, so five loops. I'll just kind of roughly lay it out, and then I'll lay the one by twos in between and fasten the first panel and hope this works. I got the duct tape in case I need it. These punched holes here, they're all generally in the same spot, but there's definitely some that have extras and some have moved and it's just, I'm just gonna assume they're all relatively the same. And I'll just deal with whatever ones the holes don't line up with as I come. So here goes nothing.
Looking pretty good. That wasn't too bad. And used up the perfect amount of it. I probably could have left myself a little bit more there, but that'll be good enough to get it down to where I can reach it, I think. Oh, and right here, I'm gonna drill a hole and it'll go down through this roof and then I have to drill another hole through the second roof from underneath and feed it down through. But I can start throwing on the metal first, but actually first take a break, then throw on the metal. Then eventually I'll get to this. And we'll see if those clouds want to just be clouds or if they want to rain on my parade. This thing worked pretty well. So I've used 1x2s as furring strips, um, and I've used 1x2s because I've just, I had a bunch of extra ones from when I did the attic air barrier, so actually this is using up all the extras that I had, and if I had had more I probably would have used a little bit more, but what I'm getting at is use at least 1x3s or 1x4s if you're going to do this, because 1x2s are just too small, they just want to split if you get your screw too close to the edge, so better to give yourself a bigger target. It's nice having these nailed to the deck so this rain doesn't make me worry about slipping. But you can see here sometimes randomly they're just off. Like what the heck. Anyways, it's going good. So I've just taken to drilling a 3 8 inch hole where I need it. So I'll come in and I'll drill a hole kind of at an angle down in that way. Hopefully I'll be able to curve the pipe right down in. I should probably do that now before I put the metal on. Okay, so this is going to be too tight of a turn if I try to force it. So I got a corner here. So I'll just cut it. Okay, that'll work. This one is going straight down in like that. Hopefully that'll be all right. Let's hope this rain holds up. Just sprinkling. I need like another half hour and I'll be done.
Okay, time to throw him up there. So, good thing this is only a 312. One thing I totally forgot to do up here was caulk all these little areas where there's, you know, where you cut it and bend it up. Like corners, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so I'm going to caulk all these. Okay, just keeps uh, the wind from being able to blow water up and over or up up and through that crack. So I'm about to make this video on the metal roof for the kiln here, and I still haven't tested out the little solar heating system that I made up there. Let's see, so this is the solar loop, so I'd open that one, and it comes back through here. Yeah, I could actually fill it with water pressure, I think. Yeah. I could try that. Let's see. Let's turn that off. Yeah, so I should be able to just open this. It'll go through the pump, fill up everything, and come back down. Whoa! Okay. Looks like missing a crimp ring right there. Dope! Oh. coming out of here oh right here jeez i am really trying to make a mess today aren't i all right there we go there you go okay I can turn the pump on, it should start circulating. Oh, <laughs> sorry, pump. That was mean, huh? Oh, Jiminy. Intake in. I'd had this one closed too. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> it's probably it's, it's like lukewarm it's not you know the barrel's cold and it's lukewarm coming back out 
So let's see, I need to go get the thermometer and we'll shoot it on here. We'll see what it is now and we'll see what it is in a couple hours. And then later today or tomorrow we'll drain it down and see. It should be able to get all the air out really, I mean the water out really easily. I'll let it just gravity feed out, drain out as much as will go and then I can open this and blow air and clear the whole line. So let me go grab the temperature gauge and we'll see what this barrel is. 58, 59, somewhere in there. But the sun is just spotty. It just came back out, but it's it's kind of overcast today. So we'll see see what it can do. It's um it's colder than it was now. All right. Well, we'll check back in a couple hours, and maybe I'll turn on the dehumidifier and let it dry this little spot out. So it's probably been well, not even two hours. Maybe around two hours. That's pretty cool. It's raised to like 11, 11 to 12 degrees. It's now sunny. It's been sunny for like the last hour or so. so it could have been just in the last hour. And we'll let this go for the next few hours. It looks like it'll get some shade here pretty soon. So that'll slow it down. But, uh, you know, these trees won't be here after probably another, within a year I'll have these trees down and so it'll get heat, you know, at least half the day. These trees are pretty big here. All right, check on it in a couple hours. As a final kind of, as a final clip or the final piece of this video that I wanted to include was whether or not the solar drain back worked. I had mentioned wanting to make it a gravity drain system. And so let me see if it's still full of water. It appears to... Okay, I'll just uh, fill it with water, make sure it's full, and then we'll see how it drains. Needs to be open. Well, it appears to be draining. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to fill it. So it's just sucking air in here, I'm guessing. Let's see. This might take a little while. So when this finishes, I'll open this, drain whatever water is in this little pipe, and then I was going to uh, close this and blow air up through this. It'll blow it out and drain any water that's left out of the bath. But it seems to be draining really well. And you know, it really should have been draining back out of this one. That's weird it was draining out of this. Because this goes to the high side of the roof and this goes to the low side. Well, let's see how much water is in there still. Okay, so not much. Let me go get the air compressor hooked up. down a little bit. Huh? That'd be good. Oh, that didn't work as good as I thought it would, but it's working. Calling that good. We'll find out next year if the water doesn't return when pumped up there. <laughs>
or if it starts drizzling off the eave or something. But I guess that worked. I'm going to call that, even though it worked differently than what I thought it would, at least it worked. And there will be many videos, well, maybe one video, <laughs> on this system that I kind of, it's like a, just a real cheap, easy to make, uh, hydronic radiant system. There's tubes in the floor, but yeah, getting ahead of myself. Yeah, and uh, there'll be videos on the electrical in here, videos on what all these heat lamps are for, and what the heck all these weird blue strips are. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let me get back to work. <laughs>